We were just at the White House because Detroit is down so far this year, it's the end of May, 20% in homicides and shootings from a year ago. We stand out in the country. Every chief in America is talking to us. Now, Chief White doesn't like me talking about this because summer's coming and nobody uh, declares victory uh, uh, before summer's coming. But the fact is that steps that this department has taken to get people to make different decisions uh, is making a difference. And if we can build on it, and the courts are being cooperative, Prosecutor Worthy is being cooperative, uh, Dawn Isen in the U.S. Attorney's Office has been phenomenal uh, in this strategy, uh, it's going to get better and better. I, I really feel that, and I feel that the way this chief has this department going, we're going to be okay. Yeah. Uh, this is, a, uh, I guess, a bigger picture question, Mr. Mayor, and it's, it's about uh, how much we can rely on policing to solve our crime problem and how much has to be policing in concert with or uh, other things instead of, uh, of policing. How does that fit together? So you have a, you're absolutely right. So uh, my, my first year here, you had DTE and GM and a few people running summer jobs programs. We got them all together with the help of a number of foundations. We now have what JP Morgan has called the finest summer jobs program in America, 8,000 young people. The first year we went to 8,000 young people in summer jobs, shootings dropped over the summer. Is that coincidence or is that not? I think uh, opportunity is a very significant thing. The second thing uh, that, that Harvard did research on is that the areas that were filled with blight and abandoned houses had higher degrees of shooting. The places where we cleared out the abandoned houses saw reductions in crime. Uh, of course, we've landed things like 5,000 good paying jobs at the Jeep plant, 2,000 more at the General Motors plant. We've got folks employed. And so you've got to do two things at once. One is you have to have a path where people feel there is a, a prospect for their own success uh, that's uh, within the uh, right side of the law. And then you have to, th these individuals are making risk reward decisions. It is amazing how precise you talk to them. And I spend time with gang members as the chief does. They're making very conscious risk reward decisions. Uh, and what we have to do, and this is, this is what the chief is a big proponent of, is make it very difficult for you to uh, succeed in committing a crime with a gun and make it much easier for you to succeed in another way. And literally everything we do all day is planning how to change those incentives and disincentives. Yeah. You know, some of these criminals are smart. I mean, they, if they did something else for a living, they would be very successful business people. Uh, they just choose to break the law. So they're, they're using innovation and technology uh, to not be arrested. And, and so our strategy focuses on really the key areas that we're struggling with or what's struggling with. Not that we're de declaring victory by any means, but we've had some, some degree of success. And one of the things is crowd control and crowd management. Um, you know, when I walked in last year, uh, we had an uptick of 44% of non-fatal shootings, uh, and, and that was a problem. And we knew that people are bringing guns to areas uh, where people congregate. They would have very simple conflict, resolve it with a gun. They were, you bump into me, you step on my shoes, I'm going to shoot you. Uh, impulse decision making. So what we decided to do was to look at those areas, pinpoint where the, the high likelihood were uh, in our communities, and deploy in those communities where there was a likelihood of the behavior happening. We had some success with that. Uh, we took a lot of guns off the street. Uh, and, but again, with the courts being closed, it's a turnstile. They go into the court system. Many of them get a tether. They walk right out the door and engage in similar behavior. So uh, you know, we were able to do some things.